Hi everyone, I'm Anna Faye Dulce Naive, and um, I will be your instructor for data structures and algorithm function. So um, I'd like to welcome you all in our class and um, I hope that you'll be able to learn something at the end of the semester. We might not be able to uh, meet face to face, but I hope that um, we can be in touch still and we can still have um, learnings in this semester. So um, this is prepared by me. My family name now is Naive. Okay. Um, I would just like today, I would just like to um, discuss the introduction of what is data structure and algorithm. So um, data structure as defined, it is a systematic way to organize data. So basically the, the, the main goal of data structure is to deliver a software or a program that is efficient. And how do you know if um, the program is efficient? First is um, we have to determine the three characteristics of a data structure. Um, if the structure has been implemented correctly, which is correctness, time complexity, when we say time complexity, we we mean by um, the time running time or execution time of the operation of the data structure. So it must be small. The the lesser the time, the better. Of course, next is the space complexity. We're in. Um, of course, if you're going to program, if you're going to create a software, you are going to use the memory of the CPU of your computer. So the more that you're going to use C um, memory in your CPU. Um, it is not a good data structure. So the lesser, the faster the program is, the good data structure there is. We mean data structure, it's not only about the code alone, but as a whole, as a whole in the, in the program, the processes in the, in the software, inside the code, it's, it's actually everything when we, when we say data structure. Okay. And the need for data structure. Um, there were actually problems that we are trying to solve. That is why we need data structure. The very first thing is the data search. So of course, especially now that we, we are in, um, the data is the new oil right now. It's not anymore the fuel. So the data is the new oil right now, wherein there are a lot of data in the world right now, especially that we have your social media and internet. We have a lot of unstructured data. When we say unstructured, it's not really, um, it is, um, it's just a, a, um, a data that is, that is not organized. So um, we need data structure for data search so that we, might, we may be able to do the search quickly and um, with, of course, with less possible time, okay? And the next is processor speed. So even though we are upgrading in our processors, but if uh, if we create programs that are not that are not efficient or that are um, that are slow, it 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 uses a lot of CPU usage. So um, it's not it's not a good data structure. So we need data structure in order to. Um, in order to lessen the use of our processor speed so that it will be faster when it is used or it is implemented. Multiple requests. So um, a thousand of users can search data simultaneously in web server. So especially now that we have online shopping, we have Lazada, we have Shopee. Um, even though we have um, large data centers, um, if we don't have the mechanism that um, a user can easily search and can easily purchase um, an item, it, especially that there are a lot of users that would um, visit the website or would buy an item. If we don't have the mechanism to, to do it efficiently or we don't have that good data structure in the program or in the system as a whole, um, yeah, it's still not a good system. So that is, those are the reason, main reasons that we need data structure. So when we have data structure, we really encounter these three terms, which is the 
worst case scenario, average case, and the best case. So when we say worst case, it means that the time is really the maximum. It takes maximum of the time. And then it's, it means that it's really slow. It's really long. And then average case is that the average execution time. And the best case is a scenario depicting the least possible execution time. So again, best is least time. Average case is average execution time. And worst case is the maximum time. All right. So those, the, that was um, a quick introduction of data structure. You may not be able to understood it first time here in our introduction, but I hope that along the way at the end of the semester, you may be able to differentiate different kinds of data structure that we have, the basic data structure. Next is the algorithm. So when we say um, algorithm, it's um, it's step-by-step -step procedure. So algorithm is just a set of instruction. It's just the steps the step by step that you are going to take in order to solve a problem or in, or in order to do a functionality in your program. So algorithm is not yet the programming. It's not you don't um, you don't um, convert yet or you don't do yet do yet the programming thing unless you have the algorithm unless you have the the step by step process and how are you going to solve a problem. So first. So really, um, algorithm is the baseline. So once you have the algorithm and how are you going to solve it, what would be the process, then you are going to convert it into a code. You are going to use programming languages that are Python, such as PHP and other good programming languages that we have. All right. And then um, that's the time that you can be able to convert the program into a functionality or a module in a software. So categories of algorithm, you have search, sort, insert, update, and delete. So those actually are the basic um, categories of algorithm. When we say crude, C-R-U-D, it's create, read, update, and delete. Okay. Um, you, you can then um, read this one as I'm going to give you this PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Yeah, algorithm complexity, it's just the same with data structure. You have time factor and the space factor. Okay, so that's it for our quick introduction of data structure and algorithm. So um, I really hope and pray that you are safe wherever you are in the world right now. And keep safe. Um, don't forget yourself, even though you are busy in school and in work. Um, I know... Some of you are working just to finance um, your studies and your family, maybe. But um, I hope that you're not going to forget yourself, that um, you're also take care of yourself as we battle with this pandemic. So I hope you will still enjoy our classes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.